The idea of using support and resistance lines is to identify areas where there is a pullback and a continuation of price action within the context of a trend, as price action navigates its way between a support and resistance line. In this example, we will use pivot points as well as candle patterns to identify trade entry and exit points. First, find the pivot points. Take a look at the chart above, which shows three areas of support, three areas of resistance, and a central pivot. The price action on the left sweeps through the various pivots, finds some kind of support on S1, and then pushes upwards to find resistance at R3, breaking R2 along the way with a brief pullback at R2. Makes a downward turn and finds a brief support at S1, then upward run to the central pivot. Here in the chart you can see support and resistance plotted with a pivot point calculator. A broken pivot point changes its role. For instance, if a price move to the south breaks below the S2 support and tries to reach again for S2, S2 in this case no longer functions as a support but as a resistance. Break of pivot points an implication for support and resistance. If you want to use the support and resistance lines formed by the pivot points for trading, the logical trade is to allow for a break of a pivot line followed by a pullback to broken pivot where we can use a limit order in the direction of the initial move. If the pivot line is not broken, i.e. the candle does not close above the resistance line, or does not close below a support line, we can make the logical trade as a reversal trade. This setup is best traded within the context of ranging prices. Using trend lines, support and resistance areas can be cordoned off from the price lows and price highs respectively. Support and resistance areas of potential breakout and continuation or potential reversal. Support and resistance are areas of potential breakout and continuation or potential reversal. In trading potential reversals, reversal candlestick patterns can be used as adjunctive tools to take the trades. The following candlestick patterns can be used to trade support and resistance reversals. Pin bars, engulfing patterns, doji star patterns, morning and evening, and there are others but these are the most common and easiest to identify on the charts. The chart above shows the various candlestick patterns that created reversals at various points of support and resistance. Support and resistance levels are the backbone of most forex trading strategies. Many traders use them to trade continuations or to trade reversals. The trader should do some in-depth study of how to identify these areas and how to use them to trade. That's it for now. On our website you can find more posts as well as calculators and other financial tools. I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to our podcast channel on YouTube. We would love to know how you use support and resistance levels in your trading, so feel free to share them in the comments below.